Good morning, guys. Good morning, Dennis. Hello. So, right now we are heading to the front of my apartment complex because Dennis is catching a ride back to Atlanta. How long of a drive is that? Is that like seven hours or eight hours? Not like six. Ooh, so we'll be in the car for kind of a while, but I wanted to just kind of record his, his departure. Uh, hopefully safe and sound back to Atlanta. I had a good time having you here, Dennis, during this really, really weird time, but we had some good memories. We made some fun videos. We made some fun treats. Yesterday was your last full day here, which we watched How I Met Your Mother pretty much finish the entire series. We ended up going quackers. beating Going Quackers, which here's a clip from that. You did it, Dennis. Woo! We beat Going Quackers. Yay! The end. Woo! And then we also tried to record a short film that Dennis wrote, but we didn't end up finishing because I just couldn't remember my lines. And here's a little clip from that. And now Dennis is heading back home, safe and sound. You were here for a good 10 or so days, just hunkered down in self-isolation with us. Did you have a fun memory or a takeaway from this moment we had? This, ent this entire two weeks that we had together as brothers. It was fun. It reminds you about what's important, you know? Just being with the ones you care and love about. Mm -hmm. Love about. But, you know, wouldn't trade it for anything. Absolutely. But, all right, we're gonna go ahead and put this away and head back to the apartment after Dennis. Uh, catches his ride with his buddy, who's who's Bren. It's uh, Dennis's old roommate who used to live here in Orlando. Now he's moving up with Dennis to Atlanta, so everything always makes sense, right? And he's becoming my new roommate. So I'm back inside, and I'm about to have some breakfast here. Trix has always been my absolute favorite cereal. Look at the what do you call these? They're not blinds. They're Curtains. Look at these curtains. So it feels so good outside right now. Brennan's awake, by the way. <laughs> it feels so good. I opened up the windows and I opened up the doors and everything. For whatever reason, there's just such a light, subtle breeze outside, and it's so tempered and comfortable compared to how it's felt recently in like the high, high 90s. Not high 90s, like high 80s. It's been pretty, pretty stagnant and hot. So gonna have some breakfast and then start the day here. Not really a plan of what to do today, but now that Dennis isn't here, who knows what we're gonna get up to. So I'm outside now, a few hours have passed. I'm out here with Calvin. Hi, Calvin. Hey, buddy. And I just wanted to kind of show off something that I've been working on for kind of a while. You've probably already seen this because we did this video kind of a little bit ago before Dennis left, but these are my attractions for the attractions bracket that we made for the Walt Disney World rides, where we ranked every single ride at the Walt Disney World Resort, or pretty much most every important ride, I guess I'm gonna say, at Disney. And what I've been working on is just putting that bracket together. So what I ended up doing is just cutting out every single ride sign, I suppose, and then importing it into this project in Photoshop that I can kind of work with or animate from here. I don't really know what I'm still gonna do with all of this, but I have the bracket created back there and then I have everything sorted. So these are the thrill attractions. These are the the dark ride attractions, these are the mild attractions, these are the different shows, these are the 3D simulator attractions, and then these are the boat ride attractions, and then I can kind of condense those and organize those from here on out. So that's kind of been what I've been working on. I'm a little bit closer. It's going to be a pretty big video probably to kind of edit through, but it should work out, I think, and then I can kind of get past that and start editing the other videos that we've done recently, like the different home vlogs, and then the game show video that we did, and then this video right here. So there's still a lot to kind of do and to keep me occupied and busy, but I'm enjoying it. But I think it's pretty much time for lunch right now, which I know is kind of a jump cut. Dennis has already made it into Georgia, so he's probably halfway to Atlanta right now, but yeah, okay, gonna go have some food. So for lunch today, I'm going to be popping open this can here of a Pillsbury pizza crust and making myself a little pizza. I'm pretty sure that there's still some ingredients kind of just in the fridge from just other foods that we've made in the past few weeks so I could make a reasonable 
pizza with this, so this is gonna be kind of exciting. Maybe not, but it looks good. Opening these up is always a little bit terrifying, just because of the popping sound that they make. Woo! And there it is, there's my dough. And here it is, this is what I ended up crafting with my Pillsbury dough. It looks like it's gonna be kind of a deep dish pizza. There's a lot on there, and I'll show you more of that once that is out of the oven in just a little bit. Now Brennan, who's right here, hello, good morning. Hi. Good afternoon, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon now. Sorry, I've been around, I just haven't been on camera. Nope. So <laughs> Vernon is gonna go blading, right? I am. She's gonna go rollerblade. It's really nice outside and I wanna take advantage of it, so. Mm -hmm. And I'll take care of this big old deep dish pizza and you can take care of the blading, which maybe we'll do some more of that a little bit later, but. Did you ever order your little pads that you wanted? I did not. I think I'm gonna buy elbow pads just because <laughs> I'm afraid to blade now. I keep falling over and hurting myself. Afraid to bleed. All right, go blade. There's Brennan down there. Hi, Brennan. She's going on her blading adventure. And it, I don't know if you watched the previous video where I totally fell and scraped up my elbow, but we actually went blading yesterday and look what happened to my pants. That is the crotch of my pants, which is completely just severed because I tried to slow down, couldn't slow down, did kind of a split, ripped my pants in half. So I'm not that good at rollerblading yet. Um, which kind of stinks. So Brennan is still out blading and I am enjoying my deep dish pizza here. This turned out spectacular. I was pretty worried about it because the dough did not want to expand at all, which kind of forced me to do kind of a deep dish pizza situation. So everything's in there. This has pizza seasoning, it has goat cheese, it has mozzarella cheese, it has cheddar cheese, it has marinara sauce, it has bacon and onions. And am I forgetting anything else? I don't know. Pepperonis. Yeah, that's kind of important too. They're down in there somewhere. So I don't really know how to eat this, to be totally honest. Uh, do I eat it with a fork and knife? Or I, I just don't know. Hmm. I'll probably cut it up and kind of just see how runny, if it's runny at all, that it is. We've been eating a lot of pizza recently because of the uh, pizza monopoly game that we keep playing like every single day. But this looks pretty good. Me and Farley are just kind of hanging out, waiting for Brennan to get back, and I'm just watching some streaming services because what else are we doing right around now? So I ended up using a pizza cutter, and that looks absolutely amazing. I'm actually really proud of myself. These drapes keep just blowing all over the place because of how windy it is outside, but I am loving it. Brennan is still enjoying her rollerblading, like I just said, which I'm kind of envious about because I do want to keep rollerblading. I just keep hurting myself and ripping my pants. But maybe I'll buy some elbow pads and I'll feel more confident about it. Okay. I will spare you from having to watch me eat that because it was incredibly hot and just totally fell apart. So it was super messy, but it was worth it because it was really, really good. And I'm kind of surprised I've never tried to make something like that before because it was pretty easy and it was great. Now, I think when Brenna comes back, we may try to play a game. I don't know, we don't really have a plan for today, but we still have a lot of these games that we need to need to play and get through. It was awesome when Dennis was here because we got to play like a lot of the multiplayer games that we have here that we've never gotten the chance to play before. But there are probably a few games that Brennan and I could play together. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know. And just like I said, here we are playing a game. This is the 101 Dalmatians game. I've had this game for the longest time. This is our setup right over here. It's pretty cool. It's a multi-dimensional. Got Cruella DeVille's car back there. And here, Brennan and I are. We are going to be Pongo and Perdita. Which is throwing me up, because, like, the colors are inverted. Like, Pongo has a red collar and he's blue, and then Perdita has a blue collar and she's red. Yeah. We have our own little Pongo and Perdita right up there that we used for Halloween one time. So, how this works is essentially we just have to rescue all of the puppies right here. We just kind of progress through the game board. And then whenever we pass a puppy, we put this in right here, and that means we rescue those puppies. If we land on one of these guys, then we move her car forward or backward, and if we run into her car, then we can't move forward. So this should be super duper duper fun, right? And this game was made in what year? 1991. <laughs> so we started at the DeVille Mansion, and we made it through the woods, narrowly avoiding Cruella DeVille. We rescued a bunch of puppies along the way. And now we're right here at the doorstep of Roger and Anita's home. And now Brennan 
you're gonna spin to win. You have to roll a three, or spin a three to win. Let's see if you do it. Oh, oh no! Have you have to, to win by... Bad guys. Uh oh. You have to get the exact spin. I have to get a two. In this game, so I need to get a three now. No! Which I did! Yay, one, two, three. Wait, no, I think that counts as a spot, so. Wait, why? I don't know. The I DeVille think. Mansion didn't count as a spot. But I think the rule said we had to, like, get there to win? Let's see. Yeah, that counts as a spot. Oh! Where am I pointing? There we go. Oh, okay. So, so I, I still, still need, need one more to win. Brenda needs a three. No! Got a four. I just need a one. How long is this going to go on? That's the line. Three, 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 three. Dang it. I hope this isn't boring. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm tired of looking at this lady's face. Two. All right, now we both need a one. We both just need a one to win. Is it going to happen? No! Yay! Save I made the it last of the puppy. to Roger and Anita's doorstep. Now we can put the last of the puppies back where they belong. <laughs> we just saved 99 little puppies from like Dalmatians. This would have been a game changer when we were five. <laughs> this was awesome. I played this so many times. Did you like it? <laughs> it was cute. We saved all the puppies. We did it. Yay, puppies. So now we have moved on to a slightly more complicated game than the 101 Dalmatians game. We're playing the game of life. Right, Brennan? Yay. Yay. And this is Brennan's old version, which is a little bit Busted. beat up for the most part. I don't <laughs> even know if all the tiles and game pieces are here, but we are going to figure it out. I think I've only ever played the game of life once in my life. Yeah. Yeah. So you ready? Yep. Spin the wheel. Three. Three. Are you going to start college or a career? Um, let's do college. I have to borrow $40,000, though. Uh-oh. That's not good. And I'm going to do college, too. I rolled a nine. Hold on. One, two, three. Make new friends. Let me get one of these. Can I have $40,000, please? Yes. Thank you. Trade you that. <laughs> this is hard to do with one hand. And then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I miss my next turn, because I have to write a term paper. Oh, oh no. man. Hi, Brennan. Hi. So we have a little bit of an update here. We've been playing for a bit. We're about halfway through the game. Mm -hmm. So Brennan's career is a police officer making $90,000 a year, and she lives in a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's over here. It's almost like here, a game of mash, but it's. Kind of is, isn't it? I'm an accountant. I make $80,000 a year, and I live in this nice house. It looks pretty good, but we're making our way around the board. We're both making some money, making some good decisions. Brennan has a husband and a daughter, and I have myself a wife, and she's a little bit ahead of me, but I think we're doing a pretty good job, don't you think? I want to play this game again with my actual income and just see how I get through life there. Really? Maybe I can like help set myself up for the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brennan, so we did it. We completed the game of life together. How much money did you make? Uh, once I retired, I am worth $1,505,000. And I am worth $2,935,000. <laughs> you didn't have any damn kids. It's the kids. You gotta pay for them. <laughs> I didn't have any kids. I'm kind of sad about it, but that was fun. I haven't played that game in a while. And also, side note, just got a text from Dennis a little bit ago, I guess, that he made it to Atlanta with his roommates, with his new roommate, Brenton. Yeah. His old roommate too, I guess. Yeah, but... new or old roommate, now his new roommate exactly. in a different state. Mm -hmm. But we did it. We played the game of life and it was fun. I just realized our windows were open, so somebody probably heard me yelling about damn kids. Yeah, those <laughs> damn kids. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. I used to do videos all the time, kind of sitting in front of my computer in my bedroom, but I'm in here right now because Dennis is back in Atlanta, so I wanted to come into the spare bedroom to start organizing everything in here and wash the bed sheets and all that fun stuff but I had a few things in here that I thought were kind of cool to, to show off so I think I said it before that I wanted to try to intersplice these apartment style videos with some more fun creative-esque type of videos so I have my script here for the 
the, uh, the, the Mad Lib video that I did a little bit ago, which was a lot of fun to do, and it turned out to be pretty funny, even though it was only like a few minutes long. I have my beautiful picture here that I spent like half an hour or 45 minutes drawing this trombone in a teacup. If you don't know that reference, then you should go watch that video because it was a lot of fun, and it took a while to compile all of that together. And then I have this from the other day, the bracket that we ended up making for our attractions challenge, which you saw me working on Photoshop earlier, actually trying to make a graphic for that, but here's the the planning of, of all that. And I don't have anything for the video that we did yesterday, before Dennis left, which was the, uh, the, the game show video, where I just tried to be as cheesy and corny as possible. But that was a lot of fun, did that on my iPad. And now here, just gonna kind of flash this for a second. This is the next little project that I'm working on, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And it involves the ukulele, and I thought I would just go ahead and play the first, uh, maybe like the first verse. I won't sing anything, or I won't give any kind of a, a hint in that factor, but maybe you'll kind of know what it is when I play it. Hopefully I play it okay. I just moved the camera right over here because it's a little bit easier to play the ukulele comfortably down here than all the way up here, so let's see if you can recognize this verse. Do you know what that is? Because that is the next project that I'm going to be working on in the next coming days, and I'm super excited for it, but I think as of right now, as of today, as of this video, I think Brendan and myself are going to be going maybe rollerblading again? I don't know, we may make some dinner, maybe some desserts or something. Are you as excited as I am? Probably not, but we're doing it. And here we are, outside, about to take a lap around the apartment complex in a roller skates. I'm wearing jeans again. Hopefully I don't rip them, but we will see what happens. Hopefully I don't fall over. Uh, maybe I'll give Brendan the camera because I just don't trust myself with my rollerblading skills and camera operational skills. Oh, this is the scary part because it's like a little hill. Oh, I'm gonna grab this. Okay, I'm alive. Everyone's out trying to be active. Look at Roy blading with confidence. <laughs> Good job. I did it. Yay! How are you doing? I'm doing good. Are you feeling confident with this? Yeah. I did this for a while earlier. I think I was out here maybe like 25 minutes just making, I think I made like five full laps around the neighborhood. We were out here for a bit and I was just chowing down on pizza. <laughs> we're back on the sidewalk now, which I'm trying to get comfortable with both terrains, both the road and the bumpiness of the sidewalk. I feel more confident on the sidewalk, weirdly just because of the buffer of the grass on both sides, but it's easier in the road for whatever reason. And we made it back over by the dog park. I think we are gonna head inside probably after just taking a lap around the apartment because we wanna order some food I think today because we've been cooking a lot of food recently. Oh, I almost fell over. And uh, maybe we can help the economy by buying local businesses. We will see. Hey Calvin, how's it going? Oh, I know. Super tired, right? So, Brennan, what are we gonna do for dinner? Uh, we just ordered Olive Garden for curbside pickup. Right, so we are gonna head over to International Drive in about 45 minutes, and we are gonna get some lasagna, and some ravioli, and breadsticks, and soups. And what'd you get, Brennan? I got the ziti. And ziti! Aren't you excited for that, Kelvin? No, maybe not. <laughs> so now I'm outside with Calvin on this table, which he really, really enjoys. Just to be able to watch everybody, something that I've also been playing with him recently is whack-a-mole. By popping up my finger all over the place here. He just, he loves it quite a lot, but I have to be pretty agile with it because he is actually very, very fast. And also what I wanted to kind of show off is because Dennis and I were playing Go and Quackers in there on the N64, it made me think about what else I could potentially play on that console because I have quite a few games for the N64. A couple Pokemon games, of course. Super Smash Brothers. Let's see. I haven't played a lot of these in kind of a long time. Hey, you Pikachu. Some basketball. Sorry, some baseball 
games. Of course, got Super Mario, Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart. He is still looking for my finger. 007, Cruising USA. Some more Pokemon Stadium there. Kirby, Star Fox, uh, Star Wars, another crew in Cruisin USA. That's interesting. Pokemon Stadium, yet again. A couple repeat games here. And it, whatever that is. So there is quite a few games that we could absolutely play here. Probably in the coming days. Because the N64, that is the console that I grew up in. And man, was it a lot of fun. But now I think we are about to head out to go pick up our food from Olive Garden. Okay, so we just got home from Olive Garden. This bag is like comically large. It really is, we but we... Really... We did. I mean, like, we, got, we got kind of a lot of stuff, honestly. We didn't get a lot of stuff. I guess we just got big stuff. So this is our soups. Yes. We both got the chicken and gnocchi. Ooh. I'm not gonna bore you with taking them out. Breadsticks. Breadsticks. This is. Looks like. With somebody's food. I uh, ravioli, maybe? I got ravioli and lasagna. This is my ziti. And then this is your ravioli. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So we got quite a few things. I got a buy one, get one situation there. Soups, breadsticks. Oh we have my some... God. You know what? what? So these are the soups. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, what's that? Alfredo sauce that I ordered. Oh, that entire thing is Alfredo sauce? It came in a cup and a bowl, and when they said bowl, I did not imagine this. Okay. But you know what? I ain't mad. Me neither. We have some wine too, because it's Olive Garden food. It was an interesting situation to go pick up the food. They had like a, a tent set up, just kind of on the side of the parking lot, and you just rolled up, rolled down your window, and they gave you your food through the window. And it was very expedited. It was, it was really, nice. really cool. Wearing gloves, it seemed nice and sanitary too as well, which is awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's eat our weight and carbs, probably. So we just got done eating way too much Italian food. We put half of it back in the fridge because- <laughs> But it hit the spot. Yeah, we just we needed to make sure that we saved it for at least tomorrow and the next day. There's definitely a lot that's gonna be able to last us that long for sure, but what we had was Fantastic, and now we are just watching, we're actually gonna rewatch uh, Infinity War and Endgame, yeah. the Marvel movies, because they're just so much fun. And I'm going to enjoy one of Brennan's <gasps> cupcakes that she Yay! made the other day. How did you make these again? They are filled with what? Strawberry filling. Strawberry filling, and they're super, super good. Big cheese icing. Mm-hmm. So I think that's gonna do it for today's little apartment vlog. It actually turned out to be a little bit more exciting than I kind of thought it would be. I just kind of showed you what We've been up to, which is probably the extent of how these are gonna be from here on out without Sorry, Dennis here. Sorry, I was like here. barely in it. It's fine. The main star right here. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, thank you guys for hanging out with us. We will see you soon, probably, and I hope you have a good day. Have a good night, or day whenever you watch this, and goodbye. Bye!